an important clarification is that it wouldn't be in the first instance a prosecution. It would be an offer to Sakir to accept a fixed penalty notice, which, as uh, your previous guest, Lord Horton, uh, I think it was, correctly said, is the same uh, the same means by which you are given a speeding fine and a speeding conviction or a, 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 a speeding uh, a recognition of a, a speeding offence. Uh, what that means is that you accept that fixed penalty notice. It is not the same as, as necessarily as an acceptance of guilt of a criminal offence. And the, the, the police cannot convict, cannot prosecute you for, um, for that offence at that particular time if you accept the fixed penalty notice. You've got 20, 21 or possibly 28 days to accept it. That's the consequence. So in the first instance, the police, are, the police are just deciding whether or not they are going to offer him that. If Sakir were to say, no, I'm not going to accept that fixed penalty notice, he would have the right to challenge that. Um, I, I think there is a very significant problem with what Sakir has said. He is the ex-DPP. He knows very well uh, that an important principle, a very important principle of our legal system is that you are, first of all, you are innocent until you're proven guilty. And secondly, that the police um, investigating or making a decision does not automatically mean that that decision is correct. He seems to be setting himself up to accept whatever decision the Durham Police Constabulary make about this without challenging it, because he has said, if I am found to have done, um, if I'm found to have committed an offence, then I will resign. Well, he's told the country that he didn't do it. If that's the case, if the Durham Constabulary decide to offer him a fixed penalty notice, he should refuse to take it. He should challenge them to prosecute him and he should put his case in court. As the ex-DPP, he surely knows and has come to a reasonable, politi reasonable legal decision as to whether on what he knows that he did, he committed an offence. And if that is the case, then he should refuse to accept a fixed penalty notice and insist that he is prosecuted, or uh, as it is, as it, as it might be said, that police put up or shut up if he doesn't, if, if, if he doesn't accept that fixed penalty notice.